Welcome, today we will make a free energy generator using a bar magnet and a circular structure of wooden over which we will wound a insulated copper wire and by using the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction which state that whenever we move a magnet, a bar magnet inside the coil to and fro, EMF is generated. So today we will construct that and see whether EMF is generated or not and we will amplify that and see how it will generate electricity. So for that we will start winding a copper coil uh, over this one by one to make a many number of turns over this. So maximum turns we will make in this wooden structure and make a coil over it. So one by one we will make a number of turns over this and complete it till we will get two ends in this structure. Once the rotation is being done, remove the insulation of the coil. So we are removing the insulation of the coil from both the side. We have to remove the insulation of both the wires. Once it is been removed, now we will take another coil bounding it and we see that it will fixed at the center of this and we can adjust it with this coil so that the magnet moves inside this coil. Now for that we have to remove the insulation of this round coil both the side. See that it is removed properly. We will remove the insulation of the wire on both the sides. Now next we will remove the insulation of this coil also a little bit more. So that we can join this to coil done. Now we will twist this coil over this coil after removing the insulation. So we will join this so that we can get a maximum EMF in the output. Once it has been done, the same thing we will test with it with another end also. After twisting both ends, so we will get a coil in this form. So, in order to fix it, we will fix it with the insulation tape. or a two side tape you can fix it so that it will not move here and there so we have fixed the coil here so that it will not Once it has been done, next we will take our DC motor uh, with the flywheel and a crankshaft fix. So we will fix it. We will fix it tightly. C 
see that it will not move here and there. Once it is fixed tightly, make uh, this crankshaft in such a way that it, uh, whenever it moves, the magnet move should move to and fro inside this coil. So once it has been adjusted, we will take a crankshaft and a syringe over which we will mount this uh, crankshaft. So we will take a syringe uh, which will move to and fro and fix a bar magnet to it. So we will take a bar magnet and fix it in such a way that this bar magnet will move inside the coil to and fro by using the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So we can take an insulation tape and fix this magnet over the syringe tightly. Once the magnet is fixed tightly, see that it is moving to and fro. Okay, it is moving to and fro. Now we will adjust this crankshaft with the flywheel here. See that the crankshaft is fixed with this piston of the syringe tightly so that it can move to and fro. Turn it and see whether it is moving to and fro or not. So it is uh, moving to and fro when we will adjust it. So once it has been done, take a stand. Uh, we have taken a stand and we have, we have already fixed a two-sided tape. We will fix it here according to the necessity. and see that it is fixed and see that the magnet moves to and fro correctly adjust the syringe once it is been fixed we see that uh, the crankshaft is fixed with the piston of the syringe and we have fixed in front of that a uh, bar magnet with north and power, um, south pole. Next we will take a coil uh, through which we will move this uh, magnet to and fro. So we will arrange the magnet in such a way that the magnet moves inside the coil. So we have fixed like this and we will tape it and see that the, the magnet moves inside the coil to and fro. So we have adjusted it and we will, we will take the stand and fix it here. Adjusted. We will take a two sided tape and fix this stand with that. So we have taken this stand and we we'll fix this stand with the two side tape and fix it. So the coil is uh, moving inside, uh, the magnet is moving inside the coil. So once you will start uh, the uh, inside the coil to and fro and thus EMF is uh, generated in the coil. Half a uh, rectification. So we will fix a diode here to have a half a rectification.
so one end of the diode is connected with the one terminal of the coil One end of the coil is connected to one terminal of the tire uh, and another another end is connected to another another end of the terminal. We have completed soldering of the wire. Once it is completed, attach a filter capacitor. See that the positive end is connected to the uh, point of a diode and negative to the other terminal. Once it's been, it is been connected, see that the coil is adjusted so that the magnet moves to and fro in between the coil. Tape. Fix the extension board. Once it is made, the ends of the terminal are connected to the output terminals of the coil. Once it is being connected, see that everything is okay and uh, coil is moving down so you attach it with another wire so that it will be accurately fixed in the center so that the coil moves to and the magnet moves to and fro inside the coil So we have accurately fixed the thing, everything okay. Now the magnet is moving to and fro inside the coil. We have adjusted, see that mm, the magnet is moving to and fro. Fix it tightly. Once it has been fixed, we have to give a torque to the magnet so that it rotates to and fro. Now we have to connect both the terminal and see that whether EMF is generated in the coil or not. We have connected the terminals and we have to give a turg to the motor so that we can check whether the EMF is generated or not. So here the magnet is moving to and fro inside the coil and thus EMF is generated. So it works on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever a bar magnet moves inside the coil EMF is generated.
this is how the bar magnet is moving inside the wire and, uh, through the camshaft which is moving. So this uh, uh, magnet moves inside the coil. So like this, the magnet is uh, moving inside the coil and uh, once the magnet moves inside the coil, uh, EMF is uh, generated. So this is how we will make a bar magnet to move inside the coil to and fro and thus the EMF generation will take place. Now we will connect the bulb and see whether the energy is generated now. Here we can see that the energy is generated. The bulb is glowing, showing that the energy is generated in the coil.